Unfortunately, they didn't figure this out on stage, so here's the solution. We are going to integrate ln of 1 plus x squared. And if you first try u substitution, hmm, it's not going to work out too well, because if you put u to be 1 plus x squared, du is 2x, but we do not have any x right here to help us cancel that out, right? And if you want to use tricks up, do you really want to put a trick function inside of a natural log function? And the worst thing is that I don't think there's anything else that can help us cancel all the extra things either, right? So why don't we try integration by parts? Here's the deal. Of course, we will be using the DI setup right here. Plus minus on the side to get ready. Instead of integrating this thing, why don't we try to differentiate it? So ln of 1 plus x squared. And then we will just integrate 1 and then see what happens. Integrating 1, we can totally do that. It's just x. Differentiating ln of this, we get 1 over the inside and then multiply by the derivative of the inside, which is the 2x. Now, remember this diagonal? That's the first part of the answer. Positive this times that, so we will have, let's write down the x first, and then we have this. And then we are going to multiply this row, okay? and then it's a minus. And a product of a row, you still have to put that inside of an integral like this. And then we will have x times x, which is x squared. So we can say 2x squared over 1 plus x squared dx. Hmm, so how do we figure this out? Notice this is the rational function, and the degree on the top is 2. Same is the bottom, right? So you can do polynomial long division first, but I will show you guys the following way. Check this out. I'm going to rewrite this right here again, and then I will put a 2 to the front. And then here we have x squared over 1 plus x squared. Let's talk about how we can make good things happen in integral. Here. Wouldn't it be nice if the top, we also have the 1 plus x squared? Sure thing, because that way it's just be 1, right? But I cannot do that because otherwise I change the whole thing. It's okay. I put down the 1 plus, that, that's a positive 1. Just go ahead and minus the 1 at the end. So, if you look at this part now, I can do this over that, so it's just the integral of 1, close that, and then minus the integral of 1 over x. Well, let's put this down. 1 over 1 plus x squared dx. So, Ladies and gentlemen, we can figure out the answer already because this right here stays and then right here we just have to do minus 2 times this integral is just x and then we have to minus this integral is inverse tangent of x Yeah, that's pretty much it but at the end I will distribute the 2 for you guys so let me write this down one more time and then we will have minus 2x plus 2 inverse tangent of x. And then after the plus c, we are all done. So just like this.